The phrase parental guidance uh, is one you normally think of with films, computer games maybe, but some of the UK's card shops have taken to applying warnings for their slightly edgier, let's say, greeting cards. Uh, the retailer Scribbler doesn't only display PG stickers on their windows. Uh, they've also got any cards that feature swear words up on the top two shelves. Uh, Sharon Little is CEO of the Greeting Card Association. Hello, Sharon. Hello there. Is it, is it a competition to try and get everyone's attention on the shelves and those little poetic verses we used to have 50 years ago just don't cut it anymore? <laughs> Well, there are um, there's a huge variety of cards in retail outlets catering for all tastes. Uh, a lot of rude cards are sold, but this is quite a small niche. Um, uh, but I think they're I think they're very funny, and and I know that a lot of people go into shops uh, just to look at them. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not being sniffy about them because the, you go back to the tradition of the uh, the saucy postcard, and that's uh, well, yes, it's, Donald w- McGill, and exactly. what about what about Wicked Willie back in the eighties? Well. You can speak for yourself on that one. <laughs> uh, but, but I just wonder, Sharon, it, 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 there's a difference, isn't there? Because you can have subtle humour or you can have somebody's bare bottom. You can have the whole gamut, basically, and cards reflect British culture. Try finding a rhyme in, for that. In all its diversity. <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess it says more about the sender, doesn't it, than the, re, than the receivee? Well, you would, I think the thing card. about cards, though, is that um, they, they're very personal. Um, cards are always sent to show that you care about someone or to mark an occasion. Um, uh, you, you wouldn't send a card uh, not to give that person pleasure. Um, when, when you, so you, when you send a card, think about the psychology of it. You're buying something that will please someone. That uh, when you think of buying a rude card, or you think a rude card is going to really appeal um, to the person you're, you're sending it to. Um, um, it's it's a measure of your intimacy with that person. It's a measure of how well you know that person to be able to send that kind of card to how, them. How does it work in the business? Presumably you've got people who are specialists in writing a bit of flowery verse and, and also you've got those people who you know you could give them a pile of old photos and they'll find some funny lines for them. Um, yes, there is a little bit more skill in it. Oh. Well, I thought that was quite a demanding creative role I've just there's, described there's a, there. There's a, there's, a, there's a huge amount of skill in producing successful greeting cards. Uh, the great news is that uh, we are the heart of the greeting card universe um, in this country. Um, we, we are 10 years ahead of the rest of the world in terms of design. Um, the industry has been growing. So it's the, one of the few uh, industries where you get um, an actual product you know, where the the move to digital has not affected greeting cards. We still love to send them. We still love to buy them. In fact, and people can now customise them, can't they? You can, and, you can and, customise them. You, you can do whatever you want. And you, you'll, um, you'll find, I think it's because the industry has stayed um, so ahead that, uh, that people still love buying cards. Obviously, they have to produce innovative designs to keep people interested. And not only can you have rude verses and pictures, you can have rude noises as well these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's embar- you can open a, sh- a card in a shop and suddenly everyone's looking at you. You've been able to do that for years. That's yeah. nothing new. <laughs> it is in my world, Sharon. D- and uh, just a final thought. You know, you know the, f- the famous flowery verses inside. D- does anybody actually read them? Um, some people love love long verses in cards and uh, it really it really again it's it's down to, it's down to the person and uh, i think these these are known as traditional cards um uh, there aren't quite so many cards with very long verses in them anymore but there is an audience for them and they are meaningful to the people who send them and receive them well said sharon thank <laughs> Glad you. you like that <laughs> see you later goodbye bye sharon little there ceo of the uh, greeting card association yeah i did try and get a, a pregnancy congratulations card for a family member recently and it, the rude ones are all a bit more about the act that led to it than the actual congratulations on the result with pictures not sure about that not with pictures luckily no. first for news and the best